Hey everyone, welcome back. It is Icon. Thank you so much for checking out another episode of Esports Analysis. Today, we are on board with Envoy as he and the Chicago Huntsman go to battle against who most would consider number one in the power rankings, the Florida Mutineers. So in this scrim specifically overall, Chicago went four and one. That's kind of been their MO as of late. They've been going four and one against Dallas. They've been winning against Atlanta. Now they went four and one against Florida. I will say that in the scrim the day after this, they got absolutely mopped by Toronto. That's the one that I'm going to upload tomorrow. But I just feel like I had to get this one out there because anytime you can beat a team that's as fast and as talented at the SMG position as Florida is, um, it's one that I want to make sure you guys are tuned into just because, again, it's super impressive. So in this one, Envoy absolutely goes off. So does Skies. They actually have dueling 40 bombs here. So should be a fun watch as we go ahead and get prepared for the rotation on the first set of rotations from P1 to P2. So with about eight seconds left, unfortunately, Chicago ended up giving up like 25 points on P1, but that's not the end of the world because you can easily make that up on the rotation to P2. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to let you guys listen in. I'm still going to pause it. I'm still going to break it down. I'm still going to draw on the map and on screen when I feel like there's something super important to go over. But I want to make sure that you're not missing out on these team comms and all this communication as well. So let's go ahead. Let's listen in to the Chicago team comms and strategy. One, three time right now, guys. Three time. Back to our cold end. Uh, beam, 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 beam. Dude, I just snapped on you. Back left, Brad. Uh, that was actually a really dirty kill. Too bad it was on scum. Got you. They smoked uh, mid -track. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, the front door. He's front door. Two front doors. Two front doors. Come. I'm at blue, bro. Front door. Side dead. Nice. Fair, front door. Back left. Back left and front door. Fair. Whoa, nice shots. So just for a real quick pause, we've kind of been talking about this a lot as of late, especially on maps like Ramaza and on Gunrunner also on the transfer from P1 to P2. Teams have to start adjusting to this flood from the bottom of the map. So Florida had P1. As they rotated, they all just flooded through P2 at the bottom of the map. That essentially allows them to hit front. It allows them to hit up top catwalk, this side door, and they can also hit around back. There are so many different ways to get in from the bottom side of the map that I feel like teams aren't putting enough resources down towards the bottom of the map to combat that flooding scenario. And that's exactly what happened right there is normally you'll have a main AR probably formal most of the time back here on this train cart. And he's really the only one. They might have one up top catwalk or they might have one in the back of the map over here. But if that's a 5v3, they're destined to win that push. And if they end up winning that push, that's going to go ahead and now they're going to be spawning in this area instead of out here towards mid-map. So I would like to see teams start to do a better job against that push at the bottom of the map. I think it would really help towards securing a bunch of points inside of P2. Hey, J front door. To your right. Good job. Let's go. Yes, I'm going. Front. Yeah, I'm going lockers. Dead. Where are you Try at? Try to get pipes control. I'm in, I'm fucking uh, mid, mid. In you. I'm, in. Grand, 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 grand. I'm hitting vent. I see a white getting. Uh, white getting. Vent, vent hurt, vent hurt. I need help. He's in pipes on me. I got another one. How much? I can't help you. I got a pipes. Nice They're spawning. Four, four, five. Could be P5. Yeah, just hold, guys. I wasn't blocking. Go to Rafael. Go to Rafael. Go to Rafael. I need help. Oh, what's the crazy dude? There's two there. Dying time. You're good. Just stay. Right on time, weak. I gave up. I got me forest. He's ramp. Two ramp. 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 I died from hill. One more. One more. Nice. I'm. Chubby's gone. Chubby's gone. Chubby's gone. Turn on time. Turn on time. Oh, you're on hill. Yeah, he got me. Good jump. Box again. Box again. Havoc. Havoc. Watch out, boxes. Havoc. Watch out, boxes. Keep that contested. Make it scrappy. These are dead. They have to look out for me for us. They have to look for me for us, guys. I need a low. He's hurt. Hurt on time. No one here dead. Oh, you need back left. Got another one. Just keep spawn trapping him. Someone go new. I'm pushing through this. Hey, two, two, three left for me in the back left. All three back left. I'm trying to. No, two more, two more. Back left. Stay alive, Seth. We have him beat on you. Yo, yo. 
So this right here help. is something that you don't really see very often. This is a successful spawn trap from Chicago. So it's currently in P3. They have control of P3, but they also have the spawns back here for P4. So as it rotates, initial time on P4 is going to go towards Chicago. Right now they have a 61 to 48 lead. So since they don't have spawns for P5, it's important that they get a ton of time here on P4 just to kind of counteract anything that Florida could get inside of P5. But what you don't see very often is you don't see a setup like this right so you have envoy kind of over here by adam right here on this point you're not allowing them out of boxes and you have somebody set up over here towards coil not allowing them to push through woods so essentially you're cutting off florida as they try to escape from p5 and it doesn't allow them to get in and contest on p4 this is something that you don't really see very often because normally the team that's in control of p4 in this instance it would be chicago is spawning back here on top of p2 normally they're really far back and they're usually the ones that are up against the ropes as they try to rotate into p4 taking gunfire in this middle lane right here but this is a really nice job i don't know if they'll be able to hold this but as p4 pops it looks promising for chicago. Back left to me. Boxes, don't back left to me in boxes he's pharaoh's hurt one time one time fight, 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 fight. Yeah, there's first guy's yeah, d4s i'm trying to get hit i'm hitting you i'm hitting you he went bathrooms jay jay i'm you i'm you front bathrooms i just run running through yeah i'm running through all right i just lost composure dead you're gonna be your inner inner i'm trying to help you he knows i'm here i don't see inner all right, nothing on you. Yeah, what's the way? What's right? Enter, 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 enter. There's three in the back. Three looks for me. Three looks for me. That's fine. Yo, hit. Good job. Yo, play tight on time. Play tight on time. Right, go right again. Go right again. Yeah, I am. I am. Go right. Here, we should sneak to right. I'm gonna sneak. So that right there was a super sneaky play from Envoy. Rather than pinch back and hit P4, he tried to sneak through into boxes, into P5, into back warehouse to capture those spawns. They were unfortunately set up for it. But what it did do is it basically guaranteed those last. 30 seconds for Chicago inside of P4 because Florida couldn't push forward all the way because they had to make sure that they regained or kept the spawns for P5. So really nice, sneaky, aggressive play there from Envoy just to make sure that his team can capture time inside of P4 and almost get spawns for P5. I'm cutting boxes. You guys flood. You guys flood. Half all, half all. He's in green, actually. In the back on me, guys. In the back on me. Green, green, green. Green, green, green. Green, green, Oh, man. He went by the hill. I did it. I needed boxes. I needed boxes. Front door dead. And just like that, they flipped. They gained spawns and control of P5. P3 yeah, there's another one there. Two more. In P in boxes. Yo, what the fuck, dude? Two, two, two. I'm gonna get you. I'm hiding my train. Hiding my train. You guys heard? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Someone help him for us, then. Help him for us. I'm helping. I'm helping you. You have time? Look at it. Oh, in green. In green, guys. In green. Those are beautiful it's kills like right there in Pipes and in Pipes you. A three-piece. Let me go ahead. Let me break that down and just show you guys the importance of those three kills in you. So as we're on P5, Chicago spawning over here by Forest. While they're spawning in Forest, that means Florida is spawning on the top side of the map. Obviously, they're trying to work through boxes to get into P5. But as it's about to rotate to P1, the battle is on for right side map control, right? Because you want to make sure you have initial spawns for P2. As that's happening, a lot of their SMG players are going to be flooding through pipes, through you, trying to get any kills in this area right here as Chicago tries to rotate out and get those P2 kills. So from Envoy just being posted up right here in you, what that does is it stops any cont any contesting from florida in the middle part of the map right it doesn't allow them to get into p1 to get into woods to get into the open cargo area to try to stop chicago from rotating to p2 so that's a really nice job of just locking down that choke and basically guaranteeing that formal can get through and try to set up spawns for p2 Holy you. going there ramp guys going there ramp oh, respond there respond there i'm about to be one back i'm here. playing p3 yeah one back that was a kid that was a kid there ramp. Hey, there ramp two another one there ramp the ramp absolute. Green, 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 dirt and green. Dirt and green. Right, I don't think he's back there. Who are we looking for? Right, force, right. force, force, force. Dead. Air on me. Half ball, half ball, half ball. Yeah, he's back there. Skies is in the back. Skies is back. Caesar's back. Caesar's back. Red door. Back red door. 
In green. You guys look for that guy. Yeah, he got me. He's fork, fork, fork. Yeah, pick up right off spawn, maybe. I push left. Hold right, hold right. Not sure. No, he's not. Mid box, mid box. Box absolute. Brad, weak crates. Box absolute. Right crates, guys. Brad crates. There's two at old. One top beam. Top open, top close, top close. I pitch oh, crates. Another one behind me, crates. Fork and behind me, crates. One back left and one back left. Two crates, two crates. They're gonna be right too. I got a wake. Side door, side door shot. He's at the front jump. I don't have side. I think we're back water. No, I don't have. I don't have a hop. I don't have beam hop, guys. All right, I'm looking beam hop. Green train, one shot. I can't kill this fucking kid. Back up, back up, back up. I'm sitting on the front end. Back up, back up, back up. Got me. And he's back. Back water. He's coming back. Back water. Back I see. Still missing that guy. There's three on hill. Three on hill. It's fun. Play this time. So that rotation right there, that's twice in a row that Chicago had initial hold of P2, but they just didn't have anybody pushed up. Just like with the first set of rotations, they gave up that push on the bottom side of the map, kind of where you're looking at Envoy right there. They gave up that push the bottom side of the map, and then basically the rest of P2 ended up going Florida's way, or it was contested. Now, on the flip side of that, they are going to have those initial P5 spawns as it rotates to P3. They were able to lock down P5. They're inside warehouse. They're already inside of P3. So they are going to have initial map control as it pops for P3. We'll see the difference in approach and strategy now on the second set of rotations as we go P3 to P5. They front. They front. Waking's gonna be half fall, half fall, half fall. Half he can be green. Yeah, one, the one on time. Two more time, Elk. One's hurt. The last guy's hurt. Second guy's hurt. Stop peeking me. Nated? Go mid, go mid. Go mid. Match. You, okay. Can I'm gonna go, go mid. I hit him with a nade behind crate. Behind the crate. Stun half fall, stun half fall. They're nading over. Dirt, watch out. Too close right. Dirt, dude, dirt. I got, I got pinched, guys. Fuck. Where's Adam? You killed Adam? No, he just pinched me. He just pinched me. He pinched the hill fast. Okay, I'm gonna go play new. You guys hit that old time. Okay. Weak. Remember, hit ramp. ramp one shot. Nice. Got one new. Nice Trying to front. Front. Yeah, yeah, watch my mid. Play. We flipped. We flipped. Oh, went Caesar. I'll see him enter. He knows I'm here though. Yeah, he yeah, got me. New, There's two there. That guy's gonna flank old. That guy's gonna flank old. That's weak on time. Oh, we can hear out that. One's old. He's dead on time. I'm trying to back. I'm trying to I don't see the guy. He got me old. He's going. Dude, two dirt, two dirt, two dirt. Look at I look left side wheel. I'm looking left side wheel, guys. I got one left. Another one left. He's in her one Another one. I just hit through force, guys. I hit through force. Yeah, we flipped. We flipped. Pick up left, Matt. Pick up left. I got shot from. Nothing there yet. Frank's flanking hill. Flanking hill right now. Nothing there yet, Matt. Nothing there. I split here. I have your bathrooms. Bathrooms done. I'm, I'm nading behind hill, I nade behind oh, it. Oh, I'm just looking middle, middle right now. Yeah, I got I got middle. You can so over the last 30 seconds or so, that was a massive win for Chicago because they were able to get time inside of P4. It looked like they were about to spawn out. And just as Envoy got a two-piece over by Woods, they were able to push up and they were able to secure those P5 spawns again. So as it stands, it's 202 to 160. They're getting the initial time inside of P5. They have map control. They have spawns. They should be able to get pretty close to winning off of this current hard point. Oil, 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 front door, I'm on shot. Uh, oil got me, dude. Oil dead. One shot. Hey, Boxy's front door. Front door dead. Hey, hey, I have a little box. Yeah, I'm here with you. I'm going doggy. Box, 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 box. Boxes have I pinched. I pinched. Oh, back left. I'm staying left. I got one nice. pinch. He's back truck on me. Out. Back truck. Oh Is he? I'm yeah, I'm challenging. I'm coming front. I'm coming front. I'm coming front. I'm coming front. He got ripped. Fire. Reforced. I see him pushing us out. Oh, he's behind the door. Front door. Front door. Door, 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 door. Box is dead. I friend her. I friend her. Okay. He's not side. Boxes, yet. boxes. Oh, that's not Caesar. Uh, kill Caesar. Good job. Go, go. So a lot of sprees like that go overlooked when you're watching or you're just kind of spectating as Envoy plays. But he got the kill on the back Jeep as that was the person that was holding down spawns. Then he got two or three more inside the hill to secure the rest of that hill time for Chicago. It's just like, those are the key plays that Envoy does basically every single rotation that gets overlooked or might not be fully like, 
I don't know. It just seems like he's doing stuff like that all the time. And it's just, it's incredible to watch because not everybody, like this is not normal gameplay. Not everybody executes things that way. For bathroom, for bathroom, cousin. What's up, water? Keep up, Craig. 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 Keep up,